A new NOAA satellite is on its way to orbit after launching from the Kennedy Space Center this morning. Next weather meteorologist Adam Del Rosso shows us how it will help with space weather observations and forecasting. Three, two, one, engines full power, and liftoff. Go Falcon, go IMAP, go Swifo L1, and go Corruptors. Hitching a ride with two NASA research satellites, NOAA's Space Weather Follow-On satellite, or SWIFO L1, is on its way into orbit. While we have uh, weather satellites in geostationary orbit and in low Earth orbit, this is the start of uh, us having a continual presence at the Lagrange Point 1 for space weather forecasts. That special L1 point sits about a million miles away, allowing the satellite and its tools to watch for potentially dangerous solar storms well before they reach Earth. Not only are there better instruments on board, but acting director of NOAA's Office of Space Weather Observations, Richard Ullman, says they'll be able to get that data faster. For operational forecasts, time is the essence. It's not a luxury, it's, it's, a, it's a must have. And what that means is that we can get uh, uh, sooner, better um, predictions on what weather is coming towards us. He says that will help forecasters warn when there could be power grid, GPS, or high frequency radio impacts. And where we are in the solar cycle, the extra eyes are needed. Strong storms actually happen more often on the downward slope of, of the solar cycle than on the upward slope. And so, yeah, we could look forward to uh, several years of, of aurora uh, as, that, as that cycle winds down. Adam Del Rosso, WCCO News. And Adam says that means more chances for us to see the northern lights in the coming years. That satellite should be in place in January and then operational by about the middle of 2026.